All right, hello guys. Um, before I start, I want to say that I know this tutorial has been done a million and nine times, so it's going to be very quick and very easy. And if you don't understand what's going on by the end of this tutorial, you probably should check another one. But anyway, I also want to start off by saying you can get a lot of very good Dreamcast games or ROMs or whatever you want to call them from CoolRom.com. The link will be in the sidebar. Um, yeah. The first thing you really want to do before even burning your disk is check if your Dreamcast was was manufactured past 2000. Because if they do, they will not run back up here. Um, the next thing you're going to want to have is definitely a game because you cannot play a Dreamcast game without a Dreamcast game. So I just, I already downloaded one from here, but if you want, you can just download it real quick. It takes about maybe half an hour to an hour depending on your connection speed, and it will work very well. Um, yeah, you just don't want to download it, so the first thing you want to do is just extract it somewhere. It doesn't really matter where, because this is an example which you're going to be using after. After you bring your game, you're probably just going to delete it anyway, because there's really no use of having that computer. Um, use the game, and extract. This might take a little while. It will take a little while. Um, yeah, it takes about five minutes, I'd say. So, I will get back to you when this is over with. Hold on a second. <coughs> Alright, as this is finishing up, I just want to clarify that you need to check to make sure you, the CD burner you are using supports overburn because if it doesn't it's not going to finish the disc and the disc is not going to work. If it does you're very lucky. Next thing I want to make sure you, you understand is that you probably shouldn't be using crappy crappy CDs. I would use a brand like like uh, for instance Kodak or Sony. Any kind of Sony would work. Maybe I, I for one but yeah, it will overbring the game and that will make it work. Also, you can either download ROMs, self boot, or boot. I will clarify that when we're burning the disk, of course, but yeah. Okay, so it has been extracted into my DC games folder. As well as Sonic Adventure Blue Stinger has both very, very, very good games. Alright, next thing you're going to want to do is open the disc jugular. Jugular. You're going to want to open the disc jugular. Yeah, jugular. And you can get that, you can get a uh, demo that burns up to 700 megabytes. Which I'm not sure would be enough. If I were you, I would ask the, the pirates of the bay if you get what I'm saying for it. I hope you understand what I'm saying because it's very, very obvious. But anyway, you want to start a new task and create a CD and DVD. No, 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 no. You're not going to want to do that. You're going to want to start a new task and burn CD and DVD images. That's what, I, that's what I said. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, anyway, go into your folder where you have IDC games. And you're gonna want to select the one that you're burning. I, for one, chose Code Veronica because that game rates that. Um, you're gonna want to set these settings. All right. First thing you want to notice, you're gonna notice, is this one has three sessions and two tracks. That means it's a self boot game. Basically, little rule of thumb. If it has more than one session and track, then it's a self boot. If it's if it has one session or one track, then or maybe both, that's that's just a boot game self boot games, you're going to want to go into mode 2. Most games will be self boot. Offset is always 0 bytes. The TOC will be CDXA. And your block is going to be 2336. 
You're also going to want to make sure Overburn CD DVD is checked and Add Post Gap to Third Party Images is checked. Otherwise, it will not work correctly. Another thing, you're going to want to make sure that it's on the slowest setting. I run mine at 16 because I know it works and I've tried it that way. But just to be safe, I'll run yours at the slowest burn setting. Is. I don't know what that is. It depends on your burn. But yeah, um, it should work now. Um, you can click start if you have your DVD or CD. Do, do not burn DVD if it doesn't work. Make sure you have your CD in and um, start. It will say structure disk is burning appears to be invalid and could generate red error. It usually says that. You want to check no, because if it says yes, it will mess up your game. And will that work? Um, yeah, I will get back to you when this is done, because it takes a little while, usually around five minutes. So, yeah. Alright, hello. Yeah, it finished. Um, now all it's left is to put in your Dreamcast and play it. The thing you'll notice is when you do press the start button, there's a, uh, I guess you could say, the controller on the main screen of Dreamcast. I don't know what's going on, I'm sorry. Um, it will restart your, D your DC and it will play the game. It's just that's self boot working, I'm guessing. But yeah, don't think there's something wrong with this or the Dreamcast. Um, yeah, make sure you're using CDR, Final Thought CDR. Are the ones, are the ways to go. Those are the way to go. Okay. Don't use CDRW, any of that crap. Um, just regular old CDR. It'll work great. It will work fine. And you will enjoy it. Uh, final note Dreamcast is a great system. One of the only systems that doesn't have piracy, I guess you could say, um, security. It doesn't check for piracy if it was on the games anyway. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't have any names. Uh, if you learn something or pass, can pass the knowledge on somebody, I don't know. Last, last and final thought, I want to thank Robbie Marin. He's the one who wrote the original tutorial I learned this off of. He, I, I'm still using the settings to bring the games that he taught. I just want to thank him a bunch, both at the PCI and so forums. Um, thank you. Yep.